Hello, welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm James King. And I'm Callie Ryan. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. After a two week long search, Amanda Eller, a former St. Mary's resident, was located and rescued from a forest in Hawaii. The last 17 days have been the toughest in my life, says Amanda. It's really been it's been a really significant spiritual journey that I was guided on. Even though there were times of total fear and loss, Amanda said that she was, wasn't was going to take the easy way out, even if it meant more suffering and pain for myself. Amanda was a Chopticon High School graduate who started a physical therapy business in Hawaii. Although the Chesapeake Bay retained its health score of C, it still suffered a setback last year after record-breaking rainfall. Last year, the precipitation levels reached in Maryland reached its highest point in 124 years. Due to rainfall washing pollution into the watershed, decreasing the quality of the water and allowing more algae to grow. Historic Sodderly participated May 21st in the launch of the UNESCO publication Legacies of Slavery, a guide that offers information on sites that are connected to a history of slavery. The museum concluded the day with a public roundtable discussing issues and challenges related to teaching the plantation's history of slavery. St. Mary's Public Schools will be partnering up with the library once again to help feed people across the country, county. This is the second year that the library programs will be feeding students and adults alike. The program lasts the entire summer and takes place in a few different locations. It starts at the Lexington Park Library on June 17, Monday through Friday until July 3rd. The launch is in the new Greenfield Knowles and Le Lexington Park Elementary School Monday to Thursday, leaving Fridays for the library. On August 12th, the library would take over again Monday through Friday until the August 30th. Three St. Mary's County High Schools competed at the Maryland Outside Track and Field Championship on Wednesday at Morgan State University. Among them was Chopticon High School boys team who was already having an amazing season and won a school record for the event. That would, would later set the Braves up to later win third in his final 3A boys standings. It was exciting since Chopticon head coach Kelly Schmidt. I know the boys were happy but disappointed that they didn't break the state record. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm James King. And I'm Callie Ryan. Signing off.